was saying about Honda 7.0, and uh, we were uh, the message was to for all of us four that there would be something in store for us a little bit higher than we expect, more than we expect, but yet uh, it, it would make sense later. actually being down this area uh, mentally, like spiritually, um, Astro Plane, what were you sort of picking up by any chance? Well, something that keeps coming up um, strongly is dogs. Um, I, I uh, saw a dog in spirit uh, that came to me that had to do with the property location that I was focusing on, and uh, on the drive up, many uh, more instances of, of dogs, fairly big dogs. Now I know Trevor and I, Trevor and myself, we were down here um, earlier this year, right? And we were feeling like really strong energy. Now I know that we, uh, we came though we came along the river. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. And were you picking up Terrible. like little things by chance or what? Well, as soon as we really came, got down closer to the river, driving around that way, I did get my my hands started to get very, very, very hot and burn, like, very hot. Um, I had to keep them open to keep them cool. That doesn't happen unless I am uh, channeling a lot of healing energy. Okay. So it felt like the river was contributing to that healing energy. Okay. So would you suspect that we're probably going to get down here tonight? I, th I think because of my meditation I worked on earlier, I, I did pick up some energy, a portal type doorway of energy. Now, there's many kinds, but at this property, it's, it likes to stay in one area of the property and it has an opening for many various types of um, elementals to come through. But not only elementals, because it was too tall. Okay. It was a bright white light, as well as um, like an ultraviolet blue. Okay. So basically, those Trevor and I we were picking up like what you were saying, those elementals. But what I suggested for the homeowner you do though is actually put an apple actually in the tree, uh, actually up high. There's more because Trevor and I. Um, we were picking up something with squash, so that's what we were picking up. And uh, it's been on my understanding with a lot of the things I've studied to do with Sasquatch um, in Ontario, that, that, that um, a portal is, helps to for them to manifest through as well, and uh, they're connected to a lot of you sightings at the same time. The windmills in themselves can create portal vortex type. Something to consider how close these would be to their property. I know that we're basically down in this area right now, but how are you feeling so far? Like, are you feeling anything a little bit weird or off balance right now or what? I feel a pent up energy that I started earlier with all the healing energy going past the river but at the same time I'm getting uh, I just these pictures in my mind of uh, I of snowman a snowman being built snowman it's the perfect round three ball snowman the carrot nose and sticks for the arms and a pointy hat um, I'm hearing children running around, laughing and giggling, and a little girl that's been it's actually squealing with laughter. This feels like there's a lot of activity starting up on the way down to the property. Dog is barking. It's getting really kind of loud.
we have made it. Well, it looks like we made it, Wanda. Yeah, that was quite the drive. So and, true. And Especially with all the energy that we've actually faced it down here. Yes, I think we brought a lot with us from the drive as well. Okay. Well, Dana, just let you know, before we came, though, actually, Wanda and myself, we were actually doing meditation. I know that earlier while we were here, you did walk through with Trevor. Mm -hmm. um, and the thing is, some of the energy though, that we picked up, uh, we would like to actually bring forward to you and sort of actually let you know what we've got. You can say yes or no, or say sort of, that sounds familiar, or um, don't go into full extent, okay. not until the end, and then okay. that way we can actually sort of bring it to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, have you done any renovation within this property by chance? Or? I have not. The person who purchased it to flip it did. Okay. All right. And more about like how close to the water are we by any chance? Oh, I'd say we're about 30 feet. All right. And what, what water are we? Lake Erie. Okay. But this area here, what would you say that's famous about this area here? Uh, this, this section of area had a lot of um, activity during uh, the War of 1812. Uh, my family farm is a land grant from the Queen for smuggling tourists into Canada. Um, and I would also say that there was a lot of um, rum smuggling and beer smuggling during Prohibition in this area. Okay. Thanks for sharing that with us. Um, Wanda, you want to lead off? Okay. I could go through the meditation and uh, jet the knot. You know, it's <laughs> uh, <laughs> my jotted notes or jots. <laughs> yeah. I have to go through my jots. Yes. So I thought you can start right off the bat where um, I saw a snowman, children right in the front of the yard. They were um, like two boys and a girl building a snowman, kind of with the big brown balls. And it had a pointy hat and the, the nose and the tree branches but again um, then I heard a shriek uh, but it was a shriek of a girl and it was having fun right a fun shriek so that was that and um, so we started I drew a picture of a snowman I, I saw a medium-sized dog and then out the side of the back I saw a dog house it's almost like a German Shepherd, but not a German Shepherd. It's sort of uh, softer than a German Shepherd type of dog. Okay, so I find that I wonder if you notice that um, electrical things might turn off when you're trying to do things like cook or watch TV or have electrical things like uh, that. Yeah. 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 I'm getting a picture here. So, um, there she is, um, and oh. she's got that little spark on her eye to do with some practical jokes, and then the young man, that, he's very skinny, you can see he's kind of a little bit, um, so slumped over, like he's not really feeling well. Perfectly in that sense. He's skinny, really skinny and taller. Um, and also, it's this lady, she's, she's black. Um, she has hair that's the curly tight, curly hair. She's very, well, she's large. She's large. She's, you know, um, the shape of the muscular type of body, that is, mm -hmm. whether it's big or small. So, I had, to, I had to, she came in so clear, perfectly clear, interesting. Um, she came in perfectly clear, and, and the young man, he showed me where he, this suit, and his hair, his hair, from like a little bit of a poof here, but really neat and tidy and trimmed here. I think that he's so, so much hair, a beautiful head of hair, really. Um, the, that's why I just had to draw something, because they came in so clear. Um, we may be able to see more once we do the investigation. Um, now, sort of let you know, I'll go through a couple things that I picked up, even my colleague actually picked up. Um, now, for some reason, I was getting native area from here. That's not surprising. Um, 
And it wasn't really to do with hair, it was more or less down towards right where the Grand River actually does touch the lake, the, right. that area. Um, now, the other thing that, like, what connects to what Lon has sort of got is something like about a woman actually in the house, like spirit wise. Yeah, she's here. That sounds okay. familiar. Yeah. All right. And then I know I last night before we came, I actually asked you to put an apple up in the tree. Yeah. Um, thank you very much for doing that, but I was picking up sort of squatch. For those that don't know, squatch is actually big for it. So, <laughs> um, so that's what I was getting. All right. Okay. And you said something before we actually before we actually did this, is something happened outside. Oh, yes. Um, about the gift? Yeah. <laughs> um, I had put in a garden earlier this summer, or this spring, and uh, once everything started to bud and happen, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, there's a giant bone left in my yard. And it was just laying there on top of the dirt, and that was it. It was, wasn't like something had been injured. It was just there. Okay. All right. And then also why would I pick up those War of 1812? Yeah. Yeah. This right. area is pretty heavy with War of 1812. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, the other thing else I was picking up, though, that one was picking up also outside, which was also to do with a portal, like a time, okay. like a time, like, um, I call them portals, but they're actually um, the time zones. That go through the property to do fillet lines. Oh, okay. All right, what else I was picking up. Okay. Um, all right, now let me. And then um, there's something to do with underneath the house here, like okay. to do with the property directly. Okay. Um, have you heard like strange noises at night by chance um, with inside the house or even on the outside of the house? Yes, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. All right. Now, Layton, also my colleague, though, was picking up with, with elemental energy, so like berries or squatch or stuff like that. Okay. Have you, with inside the house, have you seen like little flickering of little lights that look like, okay, what's really there? I have, actually, yeah. I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there's there's something like of a, a need of help. You know, this is, this is energy-wise. Oh. Do you feel like the letter is like of a need of help? Like something's, something's... Yeah, okay. yeah. All right, all right. And also he picked up to do the land, which is so, so unusual. He didn't even read my notes. Oh, really? Uh, now, angry energy or sub, something negative, I think it was, actually he's got down here. Um, now, I also sent you pictures. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Um, and... <laughs> Now, our other colleague picked up something to do with the child's face, but with an adult's body within the picture. Uh, yes. Yeah. Now, do you remember if that was on the outside, Wanda? Oh, I remember seeing a child's face. Um, and then there was another uh, spirit that came through really clear. She was like a 14-year-old girl, and she was holding, swallowing a baby, a child, but she had a lot of other children or babies around her. It's almost like a, a nursery where she's a care for a nursery. So maybe it's possible that has something to do with that connection. Okay. And something about animal spirits here. That wouldn't surprise me. Okay. All right. All right. Um, well, do you mind if we walk around the property at all? Or? Not at all. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, so one thing I did notice, which probably wanted to talk to you about earlier, is that there is a large windmill mm -hmm. actually over that way, right? Yes. And it looks like it's coming towards the house, towards the lake. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I was in the backyard looking around the vortex that I had seen in the meditation, it seemed to be in the same direction, like line of sight as the windmill. Oh, that's, that's the things that bringing the two, two types of energies together. Okay. So do you want to take a look at your backyard? Sure, let's okay, go. Okay, that's wonderful. Well, I'd like to uh, take a walk around the back where I felt the vortex where it should be and uh, more of the uh, fairy energies. They're staying around longer this year to be worried. Raven was mentioned about the squatch. Mm -hmm. 
Have you been getting like strange sounds like a oh. whoop? Yeah, Sorry. actually we have. Uh, we've heard several things. Um, uh, the first thing we heard was uh, late, probably early spring, my husband heard it and brought me outside and he was trying to identify what the noise was. And at the time I thought it was owls, but it didn't sound like any owl I'd ever heard. Um, it sounded like whoop, whoop, whoop. It was quieter. Okay. But it was definitely like in that sort of sound zone. Now it could have been really far away. Um, but just recently, I would say in July, we woke up in the middle of the night and we heard screaming. And we thought it was two women screaming at each other, but there were no words. It was just screaming. So, uh, again, we didn't know what it was at okay. all. Okay. Yeah. But it was loud. Okay. It was loud. Okay. Anything? Well, yeah, uh, this is the little area of the yard is where I s saw in the meditation of the old house. Yeah, this area right here has... It's just where the doghouse was that I saw, but... Um, and then on, on that end of the property was where I'd sense the vortex. Right in the meditation, and then I could feel it. Yeah. All right, my hands started burning, uh, getting really, really hot. Yeah. And it was really... Uh, I felt that only happens when I get a lot of feeling energy coming into my my aura, into my body. Um, so what, uh, so um, my hands, when I got come to the backyard, they start to tingle a little bit. And the closer I get to the side, they start to really fizzle. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, coming towards the tree. Okay, so Wanda, what area were you filling it by any like chance? It, it, it's really tingling right now, as it is. It's, coming up right up around this tree. Okay. This tree might smell a little water than I see. Um, Do you have any goosebumps at all? Because I know oh. at times so I get goosebumps. Yes. Um, I'm getting goosebumps, but as well, the, t the tingling is if, is if my hands actually have goosebumps. Okay, let me just feel. Yeah, I can feel the heat ra rising. And I'm not even that close from you. I don't know if you want to feel it. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You can feel the warmth. Yeah. So, um, so I follow that, and I, it would bring me around the tree, um, which I noticed it's a two two trees together, intertwined, as if they got their arms around each other, uh, which is very odd. And then the windmill from behind is facing this way. But if you come around here. You can see the root structure is very deep and old, but my hands could feel like underneath the root system um, and the energy. It's very bouncy. Yeah. Like I can feel it. Well, <laughs> I know. Oh, well, sir. Yeah. Yes. And if you walk around the back of the tree, you can really see how it's intertwined. And if I step further away, my hands oh, are, yeah. are less, less busy. <laughs> yeah, I actually you see what see you, I actually see yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, oh, that's pretty awesome. Um, it, look, it seems like the like, two spirits, like two energies, are actually combined and giving each other a hug. That's what it looks like. And the meditation showed me two different energies. To within this portal or vortex. So I was wor really wondering about the lee lines that would follow the root system of the tree, mm -hmm. for one thing, and come towards the house. Yeah. And uh, I think it would bring all the energy this way. And with the lake being there, yeah. it might meet the energy of the lake. Yep. Well, let's just go inside and double check. So let's just head on in. Okay. All right. Is there a wall or is that an entrance way back there? Oh. Do you sense something back there? Yeah, there 
is to me a uh, spirit which is hiding from, like, it, well, this is like a soldier, like a war. Yeah. Soldier. That's what I'm to getting. Me, uh, I got. Uh, he's hiding down here with. Uh, but he's, he's not alone. He's got a couple people, a couple guys with him. Yeah, I'm actually, like, personally, when I'm actually seeing those, I'm actually seeing a gentleman standing right there. And I don't know if you're picking that up also. Well, yeah, I, he's not very tall. To me, he's not very big. Like, he's not kind of like height. small, medium, like medium. Yeah, not like, yeah, not giant. <laughs> yeah. Or like your height and your, yeah. It's okay, sir. It's okay. Is there a message at all? He's worried. He says, uh, they've got everything under control. If we leave him be, we'll well, just take care just of Just let you know. Just let you know. Okay, the war is actually over. We have won the war. He says he's got everything under control and he's patting his gun. He's got, he's holding the gun on his side. Okay. He's, he's armed, but he's not holding it out to point. He's just not taking your advice. Okay, trust me. The war is actually over. He's conferring with his, his buddies. But he's got one on each side of him. And he's also saying, do you believe this guy? What do you think? Well, he's giving me a, he's saying thank you. But, you know, he'll try to take the next step where what to would do you like to go. would you like to pass on to the white lady to go with actually the rest of the British soldiers that actually helped ground this area he says what are you talking about over there says, we would be able to help you to the to the white light where is he right now Linda? he's still still over he's still, he's still over here Got the three of them. Oh, the here? Three guys right over here. We can't see anything at all down here. Um, but I can actually see somebody standing there. He's not a, he's not actually what you were dressed up as, Trevor? Mm-hmm. Um, I would be asking him, please think of your closest loved one that that you miss the most. If you have enough energy down here, can you move something down here for us to make yourself known? So you can let us know you're here. We sense you, but we want to be able to see you too. And by doing that, you can just move something. Make a sound. What is that sound that sounds like a heartbeat? I thought I heard that too. I don't know. But... Music? Can you rattle one of these pots on the shelf or something? I hear that too. It's like boom. Boom. Drums. Please. I just feel them coming forward towards Can you me. Move back a little bit? There's this curi woman that's really curious. She's got her hand on my shoulder. I want to see, I want to see. <laughs> so do we. <laughs> I just see him coming forward. I don't know if you can see him on the base. For me, he's coming forward towards me. What am I supposed to do now? Where am I supposed to go? Here, hold my hand, please. Please hold my hand. Trust me. Oh, I feel... My body from head to toe shimmering and like. I don't want you to hold my hand. Up. Yeah. He's actually got a hold of you. Actually, me. he's got a hold of you. It's not. Yes, it's not me. So, okay, sir. Please think about the white light. There is the white light directly behind you. There is a bright white light. I can see it. Your loved ones are there. I see your loved ones back there, sir. Do you see them? I see them actually calling towards you.
Hey, Margaret. It's Margaret coming for you. seen the two other ones are actually walking towards them. Well, okay, he walked right into me. Yeah. It, the whole back of me is one. Yeah. The one disappeared. Yeah. Another one walked into me. I just felt your arm like tense. I don't know if that was you or if that's the energy from me. Yeah. But I just saw them actually walk. Okay. There we go. Oh. That's different. No. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, let's head on upstairs and double check it actually upstairs. So let's go. Okay, we're with Dana here outside because she just noticed something again out in the yard here. Yeah, so I was coming out to set up our outdoor couch so you guys had a place to sit in, you know, while things were happening and you were taking a break. And um, I pulled off the couch cover and I took all the cushions that were lined up so they could stay dry underneath the cover. Um, and I started putting them in their place and shoved down in between some cushions, I found another bone. Another bone? Yeah, okay. and it looks pretty yeah. similar to the other one as well. Okay, yeah. yeah. Because we didn't show this earlier, but you told me separately off camera what you found. Yeah. And you actually found a bone in your garden that looks like it was just placed there, right? Yes, yes. I had, my garden had just started to bloom mm -hmm. and uh, the vegetable garden and I came out one day and there was a really large bone that was just sitting on top of the dirt, the, the dirt that had been uh, turned over. So I hadn't been digging or anything. It was just there. You have no idea how that would have got there and no you just idea. found another one now. Yes. While we're here tonight, which is really odd. Yeah, thing. it's really strange. <laughs> So this was not here the last time I had the cushions out. I think somebody's been leaving a gifting and for uh, people that don't know, uh, squatches do this habit that's called gifting. Uh, it's just a way of them letting you know that they're, they're around and they want you to notice things that they're doing. So a good thing to do is just say thank you to it okay. and maybe leave us something a little bit in return. Well, I found it. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Time. So you notice the levels on that drop, like yeah, or go higher. It drops going towards the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And then come back again. So it's locating the hot spots in the house. Yeah. Turn it one more time into spot. Here, I think. Okay. 
Yeah? Oh, what's the word? Tea. We want some tea. Oh, it's about tea time. <laughs> well, let's go find out, shall we? Okay. Where did you go? That strobe light was flickering like weird. Okay, all right. So Dana. Yeah. We were saying earlier that like, you were picking up stuff up here. Yes. Okay. The room um, on the east side of the upstairs level has always made me really uncomfortable. Um, the door our, um, the window has shut on its own several times in very still weather, which I thought was odd. And I just get a really unnerving feeling in there okay. every time I'm in there. Um, most of it comes from a little crawl space that's inside that room. Okay. Yeah. Right. Oh, that was not me. Pretty Are you kidding me? This, this creek? You didn't touch it? No. That was me there. Is it like the flooring out here, out there, in there? No, it's some um, unfinished plywood inside. Okay, so you can actually fall through the ceiling. No, you shouldn't be able to fall through it. No. No, it was just slightly open. Is yeah. it closed now? Yeah. And there's actually an elastic. I tied an elastic around the lock. There was oh. the... Right oh there. my god. Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> I'm coming in! Alright. Okay. Alright. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to sit in here with the camera. Sure. So. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna sit in here with the camera, and the lights are gonna be actually off, and I'm gonna experience exactly what's what going on. What is that here. right next to you? Right where? Oh, there's some boxes in there. Yep. Interesting. I've never been in there, so. <laughs> Would right, you like so, this camera? Yep, yeah, please. Okay. Okay. Well, we just tried an EVP session up here again. We're upstairs in uh, Dana's bedroom, upstairs on the main uh, top floor. And um, we had a lot of static come through on the EVP, which is really odd. It means that somebody's actually trying to use the energy and come through to create that static sound. They're actually trying to figure out the equipment kind of thing. So we think we got also a partial name come through or a voice that did come through after a question that we asked. So we'll have to analyze that to see what it said afterwards. Um, but we will put that here once we analyze it and edit this uh, episode, so. But what we'd like to do now, since we got a little bit of response on the EVP, is try with the tools we have on the floor, which are the uh, periscope, which is a heat tool. It will tell you if there's a cold spot or hot spot in the room, and actually show you which direction it's moving and if it's moving. And then also just a basic temperature tool, which right now is showing red because it's hot up here still. <laughs> <laughs> so, but we're also going to use this tool that I have up here, which is the SB11 Spirit Box. So we tried doing the EVP to see if there's any energy up here, trying to get responses, and we've got a little bit. So maybe a little try this way as well. So if there's any spirit energy up here that wants to communicate with us, we do have another tool with us now. This will actually allow you to directly communicate with us using its energy. If you want to come through this device and speak to us, you can. Is there any energies up here that want to communicate?
Is there a female spirit in this house? Come through, please. Unexpected, very unexpected. My uh, film was finished, so we had to turn the camera off. We still continued with the Franks with the box and it uh, asking who came through, and I we heard the name Dave. It didn't jive, but then we heard the name Dave again, and uh, he said uh, he's here to help. I was sitting over here where Wanda was, and we were all in the darkness. <laughs> and we're just sitting around right here in this area, looking down around the bed. I was here, Wanda was over here on the side, just talking the to the spirit box and talking to Dave, the spirit that was coming through, which is a relation to Wanda. Yes, that turned out to be Dave, my ex-husband, mm -hmm. who has passed over. and. Uh, I asked him earlier today, I said, do you want to come with me and help me on the investigation? And I was in the car at the time and the radio said, well, I'll help you with anything. <laughs> so I said, okay, great. You're on your way with me today. Um, and when we're up here doing the spirit box, he came through really loud and clear, same tone of voice, answering every question we asked him. A really humorous guy. He was like joking around with us big time. And you could hear his laugh yeah. several times, and it was Dave's laugh. Yeah. I know his laugh. And all of a sudden, this light comes on. Okay, we're sitting here in total darkness, and this light just goes like this. It's on. All of a sudden, we're all like in shock. Okay. And we didn't know what to do. We had no cameras running because all the batteries were drained. So then I realized, you know, oh gosh, this is Dave. So then they said, oh, no, I'll ask him some questions. Oh, I don't know what to ask. We don't know what to ask, uh, but I kept asking some things and he was responding to me pretty clearly. So we asked him again, could you turn the light back off if you want to communicate still? And Thank about you. what? Three, four minutes later. He says, I'm working on he it. He says, I'm working on it, comes through. And another minute or so after that, that came through the spirit box, that light went back off again. So, from it being on to it going off, it's pretty amazing activity. And none of this was on video, but we have four witnesses, and this just went on and on and on. And I uh, just can't explain how um, flabbergasting it was. And it was Dave, no doubt. We just have to relay this information to you because it was quite... It's very important to this investigation. So remember what, what I was saying about Wanda 7.0, and uh, we were, uh, the message was to, for all of us four, that there would be something in store for us a little bit higher than we expect more than we expect but yet uh, it, it will make sense later the, the proof of life lost. after death yeah in the sense that annie was uh, happy and willing and uh able <laughs> we had a great time here so thank you very much again for having us here to your home and there is a lot of activity here, I have to say. <laughs> you weren't kidding. So, no. <laughs> um, we did find a bunch of stuff, so we hope you enjoyed uh, having us here tonight. I did. I really appreciate you guys coming out. Okay, great. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, hopefully we'll come back and check it out again one day. Perfect. Great.